Hello everyone, Dogman here. Today, I'm going to give you a short review on my 2014 Ducati Multistrada 1200S Gran Turismo. The Multistradas come in four trims. They're all the same bike, but just different trims. You have the normal Multistrada 1200S, you have the Multistrada 1200S Touring, which that one has just two Touring bags. You have the Multistrada Gran Turismo like this one with all the three bags which I'm going to cover real soon. And you have the Multistrada Pikes Peaks which comes in uh, two-tone, uh, white and red, and uh, has a different um, types of wheels on it, a little more sporty, and lots of carbon fiber. But all in all, they're the same motorcycle. The Gran Turismo comes with the higher windshield, as you can see, adjustable. It comes with 20 millimeter risers, basically right under there. It comes with the engine guards and also the fog lights. It comes with 73 liter panniers, as you can see. And that pretty much dresses up the Gran Turismo all the trims come this year with LED lights, except for the high beams, but all the rest of the motorcycle uh, daylights, running lights, are all LED. Uh, also included, you have the turn signal is included LEDs into the hand guards, which are fabulous, and you can see that everywhere during the day. You can see them from very far away. All the trims are also powered by the Ducati Testastrada 11, an awesome, awesome engine um, that will uh, now have uh, two spark plugs per cylinder and just eases that power at a uh, low band so there's no vibration and uh, incredible amount of acceleration. The Skyhook suspension on all the trims is quite, quite revolutionary. Actually, the front of the bike We'll pick an imaginary line and stick to that line. So everything you hit on the road, regardless of the terrain, will be processed through sensors throughout the motorcycle. And the motorcycle will adjust the rebound and dampening every fractions of seconds. It's like being hooked to the sky and regardless of the terrain, you keep going straight. Unbelievable. You uh, have unbelievable amount of control and um, stability with this uh, with this system. Also on all the trims, you get the Ducati Safety Pack. This um, offers the Bosch state-of-the-art 9ME ABS system, and you have um, three mappings that you can adjust. You can either turn it on, turn it off, or have it uh, medium, whatever you want. You can adjust your ABS brakes on this on this motorcycle very 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 impressive also offers eight settings of traction control so if you want to go enduro you want less traction control you want no traction control at all you can do it you can actually uh, set your level if you want maximum traction control you can set it up to the eight and uh, I've tried it in the city I slipped on some very very loose gravel and the bike really reacted well and uh, kept me in control of the, on the motorcycle. Removable panniers which have a very generous uh, storage space I can grab with one hand and remove the pannier. As you can see there is absolutely no racks hanging nowhere the lines are just clean unbelievably clean. All the Ducatis come with a keyless ignition so I just have to have my key proximity and uh, everything starts up yeah, like a charm. Everything's like Star Trek on this thing it's just awesome and you can see the display is very visible even though in the Sun. So hey what do you guys say let's take this for a ride and I'll finish this review on the road. The Multistrada comes with four modes, urban, sport, touring, 
and enduro. It's effortless to bring the Multistrada to legal highway speeds. Um, it's also, it takes effort to actually maintain the Multistrada at those legal limits. It's unbelievable. You do not feel the speed with this machine. As I said earlier, the windshield is adjustable with one hand while, on, while you're riding. The mirrors are big enough, actually more than can, anybody can ask for, and uh, no vibration whatsoever. The Multistrada is a breeze to, to ride. Not heavy at all, it clocks in at 450 pounds, which is a joke. Uh, the Multistrada basically, I call it a, a sport bike in uh, a Halloween costume. That's what it is. It can do so much. So you have the benefits of a sports bike. You also have the benefit of an adventure bike. And the bike will do it for you. In urban mode and in enduro mode, you will only get 100 horsepower, which is quite enough. Um, where you'll get the full 150 uh, horsepower of the machine is on the touring and the sports mode. Now please be aware, on the sports mode it has an extremely aggressive mapping and uh, up to third gear the uh, Multistrada will lift off the ground and uh, try to kiss you. So you got to be careful there. You can change from urban mode to touring mode as I'm going to do now on the fly. So I'm going into right now touring. I will hold my button three seconds for touring. The machine will say please close the throttle. So I just close the throttle because you don't want to go from 100 horsepowers to 150 horsepowers and you're holding the throttle. That's going to be a little jolt that you won't want. So the machine can do it on the fly without a problem. Now I'm on touring. If you want to set your suspension uh, to single rider, single rider with luggage, two riders, two rider with luggage, it's all in that one computer. And it's again with a push of a button. Very, very easy to control. Uh, it has three onboard computers that do three different things. Uh, I'd have to go through <laughs> another hour of review, but uh, once you have ridden it and you are used to these computers, um, it's such an easy bike to uh, control, first of all, uh, when you're riding, and such uh, a, an easy system to understand once uh, you uh, are playing with it. Now the Montistrada also uh, sits a little high for some of us that are short, like me, I'm 5'7", uh, on a good day. So uh, the Multistrada was a little intimidating, uh, intimidating uh, at the beginning with 33.5 inches high. Um, so um, I bought the low seat from uh, Ducati and uh, that solved my problem. Uh, no problems at all. I kind of like my bike a little high and uh, with that seat it's extremely comfortable. I have nothing to say and um, I really kind of like it. So that brought my, my motorcycle down from about an inch and uh, I, can I can say that I'm very comfortable uh, with that new seat. Now this motorcycle on, uh, on another side uh, is very easy uh, to take apart like options. I could change the windscreen in front. I can take all the bags and uh, one rack that holds the uh, back uh, box uh, there uh, with four screws I can take that off I can take the passenger pegs off it would take me about 15 minutes to complete once that's done I slap on a different set of tires on the Multistrada and I'm ready for the track I received a Ducati magazine not long ago and um, the longest that a person I've ever ride on a Ducati Multistrada was uh, this year uh, in Australia. A uh, Multistrada owner decided to tour Australia and uh, loved touring on his bike so much that stayed in the saddle for 16 hours. 16 hours straight for 1,600 kilometers in Australia. Wow, that's craziness. You gotta love touring. I don't know if my butt would like that though, but oh well. 
Maybe I'll get used to that. Well, thank you very much for riding with me today and hope you enjoyed uh, this video and it gives you a little more insight on the uh, Multistrada 2014 Gran Turismo cut or trim. And if you're ever in the market for a Gran Turismo or a Multistrada and you guys want a tour, I recommend this trim. If you guys want a more of a sporty bike, I would go with the Pikes Peak for sure. Um, Thank you very much for, uh, for watching, and I'll see you next time.